Hello, welcome to Fan Fiction Friday. I'm your host, Michael Accurso. This is the show where my good friend Angel looks up raunchy, mature fan fiction online, and I read it for the first time. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at uh, a little fan fiction called The Sensual Night by One Cam Z. Let's begin, shall we? <clears throat> Chapter 1. Mario, Luigi, Peach, Daisy were playing a competitive basketball game in the warm and calm night. Mario and Luigi were on one team, and Peach and Daisy were on the other. Haha! Ha, almost game point! You suckers are gonna lose! Daisy taunted while bouncing the basketball. Luigi rushed over to guard Daisy, but failed when he stumbled on an unseen rock, plunging into the hard ground and giving Daisy the advantage to make the final shot to win their basketball game. Great shot, Daisy! Peach praised, giving her applause. Thanks, Peach. Daisy noticed that Luigi was still on the floor, uttering weak groans of pain and grabbed his hand to lift him up and get him back on his feet. Ow! Luigi cried in serious pain. Oh, what's wrong, Luigi? Did Luigi break his arm when he fell to the floor? D Daisy teased. Yes, I mean no! Mario approached Luigi, trying to inspect his arm, and was disappointed when he saw small scratches on his, on his biceps. Come on, Luigi. It's not that bad. It's just a baby scratches. Because of Luigi's small incident, Peach decided that they should call it a night, but Mario demanded a rematch. They decided to start a new game, but Luigi cried, Forged screams of pain, giving the three the final decision to end the game and go home. It looks as though Luigi didn't want to play any more basketball or lose to Daisy. Realizing Luigi's problem, Peach decided to tag along with the two plumbers to clean Luigi's wounds. Daisy had nothing else to do, so she came along as well. As they arrived to the plumber's house, Daisy leaped onto the living room couch and began playing video games while Mario hurried Luigi upstairs into the bathroom. Aren't you going to help Luigi? Peach asked as she placed her hands on her hips with a raised eyebrow. <laughs> Psh. Luigi's being a big baby tonight. Just leave him. Peach rolled her eyes and headed upstairs to assist Mario. What the? Luigi, it's just a bunch of baby marks, the disappointed princess said when she finally got a good glimpse at Luigi's bicep. I told ya, Mario said as he crossed his arms. Peach gave Luigi a band-aid that she found in the medicine cabinet to cover up his baby wound. Well, uh, if any of you guys need me, I'll be in my room doing something, Mario stated, taking his leave. Luigi applied the band-aid to his bicep and gave Peach the look of satisfaction. I see that you're fine now, Peach said, leaving the bathroom. Luigi gripped Peach's arm to prevent her from leaving, trying to get her attention. Uh, where are you going? Nowhere. Peach said softly, looking at Luigi. However, this wasn't one of Peach's regular looks. Her face expression looked somehow different, and this made Luigi confused. But he shook the feeling and watched Peach as he, she exited out of the bathroom. Chapter 1 completed. Chapter 2 Mario was in his room, fast asleep and drooling on his comfortable pillow until someone entered and sat on his bed whispering his name in a soft, soothing voice. Mario fluttered his eyes awaking from his sleep and caught sight of Peach glancing at him the same way she did to Luigi. Oh, why? Uh, Peach, what are you doing in here? Aren't you supposed to be helping Luigi? Mario inquired. Oh, he's okay. All he needed was a band-aid, she replied, irritated. Maybe Daisy's right. Luigi is being a big baby tonight. Mario softly chuckled, then Peach giggled and smiled sweetly at Mario. There was silence for a few seconds until Peach uttered something again. <laughs> so when you said, FUCK! <laughs> so when you said you'll be in your room do- FUCK! 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 Okay. So when you said you'll be in your- FUCK! <laughs> so when you said you'll be in your room doing something sleeping was on your mind? Mario stared at Peach mortified. Well, uh, I was uh, trying to clean my room, but I was uh, very tired from my game tonight, so I took a quick break and I laid on my bed. 
maybe I kind of dozed off since my bed is so comfy. I apologize for my lazy actions. Peach giggled compassionately. <laughs> it's okay. Our game really was energy draining for all of us. The pink princess observed Mario's room and realized that nothing important was to be cleaned except Mario's bed. You really should fix up your bed, Mario. It's looking pretty bad. Really? Mario asked as he, as he got up from his bed and noticed that his pillow and bedsheet were inappropriately placed. It's not really that big of a deal. Peach began tidying up everywhere on Mario's bed, placing the pillows where they needed to be and spreading the bedsheet to envelop to whole, the whole bed. Now it's clean, Peach said, impressed with herself, then taking her seat on the edge of the bed, gently patting it, encouraging Mario to sit next to her. How does the bed look now? Peach asked with a small smirk, gazing into Mario's eyes. It looks a great, uh, thanks, uh, Mario replied in admiration, then kissing Peach tenderly on her cheek, instantly making her blush a little. <laughs> Your mustache tickles, Peach giggled, returning the favor to Mario. The two gazed into each other's eyes, smiling at one another until Peach attempted to say something. Mario. Mario blinked twice, still gazing at Peach, wondering why she called his name. A yes, a peach. I love you so much. Mario smirked after taking notice of what she said. Hey, hey, that wasn't a hard thing to say, was it? Mario lightly touched Peach's hand and gazed genuinely into her eyes. Well, I love you too, Peach. Mario's words turned Peach on. Mario's words. <laughs> Mario's words turned Peach on. She planted her rosy lips against Mario's while he was caught off guard. Noticing Peach's hasty action, his eyes widened, but slowly began to close as he shoved his tongue into her warm mouth. Peach did the same, which resulted both of them to wrestle with each other's tongues. Peach was really horny. She wanted Mario. <laughs> Peach was really horny. She wanted Mario. Oh shit. Peach was really horny. She wanted Mario. Mario, let's do it right here, right now, she whispered into his ear, now driving Mario crazy when he heard that sentence. Peach pushed Mario onto his bed and laid herself on top of him. She began nibbling his neck, forcing him to let out a soft moan. Oh! <laughs> Peach blushed as she reached down and tenderly massaged Mario's package covered in his pants. <laughs> I see that you're... I see that you're getting big down there, Mario, she smirked devilishly into her lover's eyes. Mario was becoming impatient. He began to dress his Peach's sports shirt and was stun stunned at what came onto view. He caught sight of Peach's incredibly big breasts, barley enclosed in her silky white colored bra. Peach giggled by Mar <laughs> Peach giggled by Mario's shocked and impressed expression. What's the matter, Mario? Are they too big? she smirked. You can touch them if you want to. Without hesitation, Mario cupped both of Peach's soft boobs and squeezed them, making her whimper a sweet moan of delight. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yes, Mario. Take my bra off. I want you to squeeze my breasts more. Mario reached behind and tried to unclasp Peach's bra, but was somehow struggling to get it open. Peach smiled, noticing Mario's difficulty and assisted him in a small crisis. Here, let me help. She reached behind herself and simply opened her bra, allowing it to fall on Mario's face. She smiled as she removed the opened bra from Mario's face and threw it to the floor beside the bed. Mario's eyes widened once more, gazing at Peach's D-cup-sized breasts. You like? <laughs> she coyly asked, ra rather blushing. Mario could only nod yes as he reached to cup her nice big breast again. Peach began to moan blissfully, then Mario tightly gripped her stiff nipples, hearing her moan even more. He then lifted himself up and softly licked and sucked her heavenly nipples individually. Peach's body was on fire. She squealed a moan that was audible enough for Luigi and Daisy to hear downstairs. <coughs> what? The... Daisy, did you hear that? Luigi asked, looking around the living room, trying to find the source of the distant sound. Hear what? Daisy asked, rapidly tapping her fingers on her game controller, still playing her video game. All I can hear is winning this game. Luigi suddenly heard the moan made it sound once more. Ah, ah. There it is again! 
Ugh, first you were being a baby, now you're acting crazy! The tomboy princess asked frustrated of Luigi's actions tonight. Luigi groaned and continued to watch Daisy play her game. Back upstairs, Peach was unbuttoning Mario's overall pants. Smirking as she did, she finally pulled them down, now exposing the big bulge behind his mushroom-designed boxers. <laughs> oh, what, are you? what do you want me to do next, Mario? She teasingly whispered into his ear, now massaging his package covered in the boxers. Mario trembled at Peach's touch in it to his manhood. He inhaled sharply and replied in a raspy, slightly audible voice. Take it off. Peach smirked as she did what Mario told. She was astonished when she caught sight of what Mario had beneath his undergarment. Oh, you're so big, Mario! She stated in a very staggered tone. This only made Mario smirk. Well, what are you waiting for? He replied with a sly look on his face. Peach mischievously giggled as she licked the edges of Mario's shaft upon hearing him whimper in pleasure. <laughs> Peach blushed, now engulfing his member into her balmy mouth. Oh god. <laughs> Peach blushed, now engulfing his... Peach blushed, now engulfing his member into her balmy mouth, sucking it vigorously. The moment was strong for Mario as he raised his pelvis and clutched the back of Peach's head while she picks up the pace in her sensual action. A Peach! I can't hold it anymore! Peach's eyes widened, quickly notices Mario's outcome and let go of his manhood and covered its base. Mario was puzzled, wondering why Peach would attempt such a stunt like that. Peach, why did a... She gently placed a finger to his lips, stopping him from continuing his, his sentence. Shh! No more words tonight. Let our actions do all the talking. Those adorable words made Mario explode inside. Peach's voice sounded very sexy. Blushing constantly, she manually undressed her sports shirts and her sexy white panties, dropping them to the floor. Mario was speechless, speechless as he noticed how splendid Peach's womanhood looked. A smirk dropped upon her face as she adjusted herself above his hips, her lower lips just mere inches above his shaft. Mario couldn't take any more of her playful schemes. He gripped her waist and dropped her to finally unite his manhood with hers. Peach whimpered a quick gasp as she could feel Mario deep inside her. She physically moved herself in rhythm, driving upwards and downwards on Mario's ridges shaft. Mario could feel Peach's tight flower grasp around his member while he stared at her big breasts, flapping in the same pace she was going. Peach knew that Mario was desperately wanting to get a hold of them, so she guided both of his hands at each breast. Peach increased the speed of her pace, both her and Mario sweating from ecstasy and ready to reach their desired orgasm. Oh, Peach, I'm about to... <laughs> yes, Mario, release it inside me. They both finally reached their peak as they climaxed and collapsed onto each other, exhausted and drained. But Peach... <sighs> Mario whispered softly, beaming into her eyes. Yes, she replied, panting faintly. But you're the good. Mario smirked as he tightly gripped Peach's soft ass. <laughs> she gasped at his touch while blushing and began to fall beside Mario. I love you, Mario, Peach uttered in a somewhat drowsy voice. Mario tried to reply back to Peach, but he was a bit late when he saw her fall into an unexpected sleep. A smile appeared on his face and gave Peach a delicate kiss on her cheek. He was a bit tired but he wanted to get a quick glass of water, so he headed downstairs to do so. Uh, well, that's all the time we had for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Fan Fiction Friday. If you'd like to finish the story, we'll leave a link to the artist in the description below. Chapter 3 is a real doozy. Please leave a comment saying what fanfiction you'd like me to read next. See you next time on Fan Fiction Friday.